Hey guys, I'm out here tonight, as you can probably tell. So I know you wanted to see my pretty smiling face, so I'm shooting this real quick video to let you know, hey, hey, I'm really sorry I'm not here. But I got invited at the last minute uh, to go with Paul Cole to a church in East Point where he's doing a commissioning ceremony for his men's ministry. Paul is the son of Ed Cole, who wrote uh, Maximized Manhood and several other books. He's got a format, and this man, his men's ministry is all over the world. World. For him to invite uh, me is a great honor. He's a good friend, and he believes in what we're doing with the journey and manhood resurrected. And to me, that just means a whole lot. So that's the only reason I'm not here tonight. But really, I'm not the journey. I'm not manhood resurrected. I'm one of you. I'm a guy just like you that one day woke up and said, I'm tired of living a life that's BS. I'm tired of living a life that's not at the full potential that God's called me to be. I'm tired of living a life where I'm I'm struggling and I'm never achieving the dreams and the goals and the visions that I have. No happiness, no joy, no peace, no finances. Everything was messed up. I've shared so much of that. But about uh, 12 years ago, I made a commitment to start shifting. And I started sowing some seed into my world. And I began to see things change. And I'm seeing fruit now that I'm picking. And that I'm sharing with my family first. And then with my friends second. And with the church and the body of Christ as a whole third. Guys, that's what we're supposed to do. And if it happened for me, it can happen for you. Because the bottom line, though, is we can can set all these goals and we're going to in 2013 is going to be the year of five goals five missions but before you set that you got to ask yourself how committed are you to do this are you willing to give up sleep rest food are you willing to die to yourself in order to achieve your dreams are you willing to die to yourself in order to accomplish what God has called you to accomplish? Are you willing to die to yourself so your wife can rise up and live? Are you willing to die to yourself if you're not married so you can be the kind of man that a woman's attracted to that wants to get married? Are, we, are you willing to die to yourself in order to reconnect relationships that have been broken in the past? What are you willing to die to? The biggest thing that we can die to in the Western world is to ourselves. It's the only way to be a martyr is to die to yourself in the Western world. You know, so we have to look at our lives like we own it. We're the owner of our lives. The only thing that we actually own in our world is our life. We're responsible for it. It's a gift from God. Our life, God's gift from us, we've heard that before. What we do with it, our gift to God. We own this, but we act like we're a renter. What happens at home that you own, hot winter heater goes out, what do you do? You roll up your sleeves, you go to work, and you fix it. But what does a renter do? He picks up the telephone and he calls the landlord and says the hot water heater's out. You know, we live our lives like we're renters. So we pick up our prayer line say, hey, God, my wife ain't acting like such and such. Hey, guys, hey, God, my boss sucks. Hey, God. And God is saying, look, you own your life. I've given you the tools. I've given you faith. I've given you favor. I've given you, I've empowered you. Go, do it, live it, make it happen. You're the one that can do this. But how committed are you to do it? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to die to in order to achieve your dreams? You know, can do all things through Christ Jesus who gives me strength. Well, can is only a pipe dream until we put do behind it. we got to get committed. So I want you guys tonight, there's another video that you're going to watch. It's five minutes. More motivational than mine. It's about a guy working out. It's this other guy coaching up in the background talking. It's a real, really a good piece of work. I loved it. It's going to impact you in a way, but it's going to ask you some tough questions. What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to die to? And then Andy's got a list, and he and Rick and Andy Pinnock, some others, man, they're going to they're gonna share. I want them to talk about these things, look through it. And I want everyone, I want you to read each one of these little bullet points out on the list that Andy has. I want you to talk about it. I want you to share it. What do you struggle with in these areas? What impacts you? What makes sense to you? What, what, what drives you? Where are you weak? 
What can you do? What can you bring other people in together? Because before we lay out our five goals and really start driving towards those goals in 2013, we got to talk about our commitment. We got to talk about it now. We got to make that commitment with each other to push forward. And then when I see a guy not fully, not living out his commitment, I'm picking up the telephone. I'm talking to him. I'm grabbing him by his collar in church. I'm saying, what are you doing? Come on, you shared your heart with me. I want to stand there with you and make your dreams come true because that's what God has done for me. God put guys in my life that helped me to make my dreams come true. I'm here to do the same, and you're here to do the same for other guys. You know, too many times we spend our life fighting those battles in here. We doubt, we regret, depression, anger, all these emotions in the six inches between our, our ears, but our victory is six flipping inches in front of our face. That's where our victory is. And when we step forward that first six inches and then that second six inches and that third six inches, that's where we find it. But man, it's a fight. It is a fight. And when we're willing to push through that fight, man, we can make it. We can, bam, we got that one. Bam, we got that one. Bam, we got that one. And guys, then we get the victory. That's six inches. And we get it. Man, it, it, six inches times six is 36 inches. That's a yard. Guys, that is, well, actually, that's uh, two yards. But the point is, that's some stinking distance. Before you know it, you start getting somewhere. It starts a seed at a time. It starts an inch at a time. And it starts right now by making a commitment to commit for 2013. Guys, I love y'all. I miss you. I can't wait to see you on the next one we have. Andy will talk a little bit about what our next schedule is, what it's going to be through the end of the year. Can't wait. Love you.